I am a veteran of the U.S. Army. I joined in 2000 right out of high school as an 18-year-old kid, just wanting to go save the world. And during my time, I experienced some trauma from my peers. You know, at the time, I didn't realize that that trauma would eventually be a ticking time bomb and what that would mean for me. And there's so many other people that experience those traumas, people that fight for our country, that see things that other people don't see. So when I graduated from the Veteran Socket in Spotsylvania, it was super important for my whole life because it was important to me to prove to not just myself, but everybody else that this recovery road is possible. It is fair to say that the program did save my life. I am here, sitting here talking to you today because of that choice. A diversion court is, it's a problem solving court. It's not adversarial. It does take place in a courtroom, but it is all about all the sides, all the parties working together to try to get at the root cause of why somebody has touched our justice system and everybody working together to help that person, not punish them, so that they can become the member of our community that they want to be. We have a, a veteran treatment docket court, which helps individuals who have served in our military. We have a mental health court, which deals with individuals with who require mental health supports. And then we have a drug court, individuals who may be addicted to uh, drugs or have substance abuse issues. <laughs> we live here in Fairfax County in a community with roughly 70,000 veterans. Veterans understand what, what other veterans go through and, and that camaraderie, they want to help these individuals. That really was a big driving force here in Fairfax. But like anything else, once you see it working, once you see it being effective, you want to spread it out to many other people. We in the justice system can do better. We know that we put more people in jail and prison than any other country in the world, and yet we're not the safest country in the world. If you really care about community safety and you really care about helping people, then you start to look at alternatives. When we talk about diversion, what we are trying to do is help individuals be before they get too deeply enmeshed in our system. So while it's not all first time offenders, as a matter of fact, we've had people in our drug courts that have been in jail uh, over a hundred times, that we've been able to help. We do try to get at individuals maybe the first, second, or even third time that they touch the system because it makes it that much easier for us to focus on the root cause of why they're in the system as opposed to untangling uh, everything else that comes along with having a conviction or two on your record. There are a lot of rules that the participants have to follow. It's not an easy program. There are a lot of things you have to do. In pretty much all of the courts, there is a requirement to get help with your substance abuse issues. Um, and, and monitoring on that in terms of whether or not you're continuing to use it or, or not. Our Veterans Court docket has a lot of veteran mentors and the interactions with those veteran mentors who are just volunteers who really care about their fellow veterans is really, really important in terms of keeping up with those individuals and making sure that you're on track. There is this misunderstanding that these types of programs are somehow soft on crime, when in reality, they're smart on crime. These programs don't exist out of the goodness of people's hearts, they exist because they work. They help individuals lower their recidivism rate. It creates lower crime going forward. Fairfax County has been a leader in the diversion model for a number of years now. We were the first to build these specialty dockets. In our office, we're running the biggest prosecutor-led diversion program in, in the state. And I think when you marry that with the fact that Fairfax County is also the safest large jurisdiction anywhere in the country, People can really, really see what we're building here as far as the criminal justice system goes. I think when you take a look at where our justice system is going 10, 20 years from now, these type of programs that we're talking about are going to make up a larger and larger percentage of the way that justice systems deal with people. Uh, I've gone to a lot of these graduations and heard their stories. And just the, the way that these individuals talk about themselves from before they were in the program to when they are now graduated, they are so happy with where they are at that they're such a better version of the person that they were. It's really inspiring. I actually was not aware of the program before the program. So I was worried because I knew, I, ha I was on probation in three different counties. And at the time I had caught a new charge here in Henrico. And I was definitely worried that if I had just done so much time, I was gonna get more. So I contacted a lawyer. He made all the calls and he offered me the program. It was on the table. All the counties were willing to do it because I was a veteran, which was amazing because had he not known that and had I not gotten a lawyer, I probably would not have gotten that program. 
So there's three different phases of the program. And when you're new, it's really hard. It's really extensive. You have to do more, more meetings, more classes, more groups. But then seeing the veterans that were in the third phase or even the second phase and seeing how happy and successful they were, you just, I don't know, the camaraderie between all of us was just, it was such an incredible feeling. When you go to court, you get sentenced, you, you do jail time, but in this situation, you have an entire team of people from probation officers, prosecutors, judges, just really enveloping around you and supporting you like no other program out there because you don't get that normally. So if you have that, I think that it really can push a person to see better in themselves and see the person that they can be um, because they see it in us, you know, before we even are able to see it in ourselves. So I have my graduation certificate from the docket, which I worked really, really hard for this thing. So this is a huge accomplishment in my hands. I am a senior at Liberty University. I never thought that I would be able to go to college. I have two semesters left until I graduate. I have my bachelor's in social work. I run a ministry called Help Along the Way. We help individuals who are getting out of jail, prison, people entering the recovery community. And that's really where the best feeling of accomplishment comes from, is reaching back and bringing the next person that was behind you. It makes me so happy to see all these different counties stepping up, providing these programs. I couldn't be happier seeing that because everybody deserves to go through a program. Everybody deserves that help. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to VPM's YouTube channel. And head to vpm.org for more in-depth coverage.